Hi, Paul Curtis here from the UK City of Culture, um, otherwise known as the Deep Fact Fryer or Paul Curtis Tours. So, uh, don't seem to have a tour business anymore, for a little while at least. Um, so what I've been doing is we've resurrected the Deep Fact Fryer, uh, not dug him up, but just resurrected him in terms of putting his posts out there on a daily basis. And one of the things that we have done uh, is received a phone call today. Each day we post a fact on history uh, around City of Culture and what happened here in Coventry on this day. Um, sometimes medieval, sometimes Tudor, sometimes Victorian, sometimes Edwardian, uh, but the culture of the city and the history. But received a phone call today from Sitting Rooms of Culture and uh, a great friend of mine mary courtney does so much for coventry fantastic artist fantastic poet and what i've done in terms of my self-isolation is i've discovered again the books which uh, i first discovered coventry's medieval story coloring book and um, the coventry st mary's guildhall coloring book um, and I've taken up colouring again. It's that simple. Um, great 48 pages of colouring, bit of history in there as well, uh, which is fantastic. Um, and one of the things that we've learned from today is that in Coventry's medieval story colouring book, we know that um, King Henry V came to Coventry uh 400 500 499 years ago no 599 years ago today he came to coventry and he brought with him a collar and the collar had rubies and emeralds and sapphires in it and he exchanged that Ellie, and he exchanged that co collar for 500 marks in saint mary's Guildhall, and that is my colored in version of saint mary's Guildhall. um but I just thought I would have a look into Coventry's medieval story colouring book because that actually features the Guildhall and talks about it more. And what have we found? Unbelievable. You'll never guess. You'll never guess what we found. <laughs> Let me see if I can just show it here. Okay. Here, right on the back pages, we have discovered that the medieval kitchens, so the kitchen staff prepared lavish dishes and kept great stocks of wine to serve at many ceremonial feasts. Henry V, accompanied by Queen Catherine of Valois, celebrated the Agincourt victory at the hall. So there you go. There's a bit of sitting room culture today. Henry V and his wife, Catherine of Valois celebrated the Battle of Agincourt victory at St Mary's Guildhall in Coventry, the next UK City of Culture in 2021. It might be a virtual UK City of Culture, who knows? We're going to put a post up with a link to the colouring picture and the colouring books and uh, get them out, get the pencils out, print them off, give them to your kids, get colouring. There you go. And that's today's City Room of Culture. Take care.